Hey, what's happening, guys? What you see here is just a little uh, Arduino or you know ESP32 Raspberry Pi, whatever. Um, laser module. It's just a little laser diode on a PCB with a resistor so you don't burn it out. You feed it 3.3 volts and Bob's your uncle, right? Right. So what am I doing with it? Well, I mean, you've read the title. You obviously know what I'm doing with it. Uh-oh, we got trouble. There. All fixed. So the laser is shining at the secret component that I have underneath of this little card. And the component is really no secret at all. It is simply an LDR. The card's on there to keep the uh, outside light from affecting it. And, you know, the laser is over there. This is over here. And why, if something were to break that beam like this here black magical marker, you'd get a really annoying sound plus that light. So what we have here... Uh-oh. Let me bring it closer so I don't keep triggering it. There we go. So what we have here is a cool little burglar alarm, I guess you could call it. What I think is neat about this is it's a simple project. And if you've got kids or grandkids or you're a kid at heart, get them. Bring them in. Put this together with them. They'll love you for it and you'll have fun. All right. Let's get started talking about how I did this. All right, let's take a quick look at our components. So this is the first thing I showed you. If it will focus, hello, there we go. Just a little diode laser, like you find in the laser pointer, nothing spectacular. It's just mounted on a board. Now, it has three connections. You can see here. This one is labeled minus. This one is labeled signal. So this one in the middle is plus. You need to uh, just connect your signal and plus together and feed this with 3.3 volts. Now, I have it on about three feet of wire, you know, just enough to cross a doorway. But, focus, there we go. That's just so I can run it off of here. There's no reason this has to be run off of here. You know, you could run this off of a battery easily. Uh, I knocked out our indicator light. Sorry about that. I'll put it back. Okay. So yeah, you can run this off the battery. And you know, as, as long as you're shielding the LDR, which we'll talk about in a second, distance really isn't too much of a problem. So now on to this mess. So uh, this is the LDR and it is set up in a voltage regulator or voltage divider with this 10k resistor so you see we have the 10k resistor from vcc and then the ldr to ground and the point in between them is where i'm taking our reading and that is going back to digital pin number three two digital pin number two on the arduino now we also have another one that pies with speakers that is on digital pin number three and we have a uh, LED on digital pin number four. Now, like I said, these uh, lasers need to run on 3.3 volts. They say they can run on five volts, but I have burned a couple up doing that. So I just keep them on 3.3. So I am running 3.3 volts here from the Arduino and ground over this board. But like I said, you could easily run that with a battery no problem so then i just took an old business card here and just kind of folded it up you line it up when everything is properly lined up i'll power it up here yeah you can see that the laser is shining on the card or on the LDR 
and then if the beam is broken we get the alarm effect so let's go over to the computer and we can talk about the code it's not very hard all right here's the code for the tripwire alarm we start off by declaring some constant integers button pin equals number two led pin equals number six tone pin equals number three then we're going to use a boolean a boolean variable is one that can either be true or false on or off one or zero you know it's binary and we're going to start off with false for our active alarm now in our setup we need to set up our three pins button pin is an input with a pull internal 10k pull up led pin is output tone pin is output if you don't set up outputs and try and send a signal to that pin it won't work right now that's our setup that's going to run one time at the beginning of everything so all it's doing is telling the arduino how to behave how to treat its buttons now we have our loop that is going to run over and over so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to declare the variable here button state and it is a digital read of button pin now i remember button state or sorry button pin up here is pin number two so button state is our digital read of pin number two is it on or is it off if it is high which means the button is pressed you can tell i've adapted this code from something i wrote a while back for a a push button thing but it works just as well for this the arduino doesn't care it just needs a high signal so if the button is pressed activate the alarm so if not active alarm remember that's our boolean up here active alarm so we're saying if it's not our active make it active turn on the led and play this tone that is going to creep up from 1000 to 1500 uh, hertz one at a time with a five millisecond delay otherwise turn everything off that's how simple this little alarm program is I'll put a link to it down below to the uh, paste bin, and uh, you guys can grab it from there. So that's really all there is to this basic design. It's really easy. We have our alarm here. You can put on one side of what you don't want anybody to cross. And we have, or I'm sorry, we have our laser. And we have our receiving side over here. You put on the other side if you don't want something to cross. Now, I just laid this out you know this long ways for you guys to make it easier to see but you could easily compress all of this into a much smaller area you could fit everything except for the arduino on one of those little boards it shouldn't be a problem so i encourage you to get your kids wife grandkids spend some family time together put this together have fun it can easily be powered off a battery and you can find a link to the code down below. If you like it, if you have some fun with it, let me know. Give me a thumbs up or whatever. And, and experiment with it. I don't care what you do with the code. Do whatever you want with it. For instance, um, when the alarm goes off currently, we have that red LED that comes on. You could also put in a green LED to show when the alarm is safe or not alarmed. You know, add simple things. Grow a simple project into a more complex project. It's all a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.